All right, welcome to the video portion of this episode of the Call Me By Your Game podcast. Uh, I am your host, Connor, obviously. I'm here with my good friend, Eddie Martin. Hello. We're, as you can tell, we're not in our usual pod studio. We're in my parents' home. The original uh, studio. Yeah, this was the original studio. Uh, our studio was over there making 3D movies, which we used to always do. Uh, as you can see, my parents, they like to decorate it very Nintendo. You can see... All of our friends are here. Yeah. They don't, they do this on their own. This isn't something, I didn't go searching for my childhood plushies no. to put these up. They always um, come that up. But uh, welcome to the video portion. Thanks for doing this. If you haven't listened to the audio portion yet, please do. Uh, you can find that on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and of course the website. Uh, but let's get into it. Uh, today we're playing Star Fox 64. That's right. Uh, which is originally on the N64, but as I always like to do, to tell you what... Uh, what we're playing on, because yeah, I'm all about integrity. That's important. I'm vi I'm just super. That's really all I care about. Uh, is we're playing on the Wii U. So let's uh, get into it. We're we were before Eddie came in, and you can start whenever you want. Yeah. Before uh, we started recording, we it took me a while to set up just uh, uh, just setting up our rig here while we're home for Thanksgiving. But we uh, uh, anyway, it took us a while to set up. So, Eddie played through most of the game, so we're yeah. actually, like, near the very end, which I, is kind of fun. I was testing it out just to see, like, how it was going, and I was like, this is a pretty decent run, so we might as well just keep it going. Yeah. As you can see, so in this game, it's pretty cool. There's different paths you can go. It's always seven missions, uh, and then the game's over mm -hmm. in the single-player campaign. On the bottom there, that's kind of the easy route. It's, you can tell by the blue line. But what's cool about it is you can actually jump to other routes as well. So we started on the easy route, hit a bonus, and then now we're going to the hard Ooh, route. So is that what that little like that little star that's shooting yeah, to that planet is? Just that little star represents the jump we made. So that I was telling you about that bonus that we did. Yeah. Oh. So if yeah, you hit yeah. it, you actually get to go to the the medium oh, route. Oh, cool. Which is a pretty interesting way to do it. Now there's also I could have gone to the other level down there on the easy route yeah. and hopped over to the fire. One, okay. But, Either way, this is how you get back to the to the hard one. Now, this game has two outcomes. There's two levels there at the end. Hard to get over there. And uh, one of them is the easy ending, one's the hard ending. And we're uh, hardcore, so we go for the hard ending. Nice. Yeah, this is this is one of your favorite games ever, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say this is probably my favorite game of all time. That's it, awesome. It means the most to me as a kid. And, yeah. Hey, well, that's, I mean, isn't that the whole point of the show? Uh, I don't even, I don't know if, I'm still figuring out what game I want to do. When I, I, do know, I was going to say, who's going to interview you? Jeremy's going to do, oh, do that. Uh, I want him to do that for, if we end up doing this like a season, mm -hmm. we'll, I'll have him do that for the last episode of the season, season one. Right. But we'll see. So the context on this level is we're breaking into Venom. Venom is the planet that Andros, the bad guy, is on. And uh, this level is... There you go. We're in air, Venom Air Defense Zone, which means they're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at us at this point. They're wow. like... Star Fox and his crew, they're way too powerful, they're making way too much progress, we gotta stop them, basically. They're throwing their space plates, their space forks, yeah, there's their, their dehydrated food, you know how it goes in space. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, I, I've played this game a bunch too growing up, uh, mostly cause, because Eddie had it on yeah. the N64. I never owned it. This is, you know, even though I have a very, a, a, a beautiful N64 library, I don't have this game, but I got to play at his house a bunch, or he would bring it over. But then I've always, it's been, I think since they started doing the virtual console on the Wii, yeah. I had to have this game. It's a, it's a staple. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's the best Star Fox game in the franchise. Yeah. Uh, it's consensus. That's the, that's the opinion by everyone, not just me. Totally. Um, it still looks great for a game it that does. came out in 97, Especially 96. the ship, yeah. I would say. And it's it's smooth, It's it's um, the frame rate's good on it. Yeah. Um, obviously this is the Wii U, but like, I have it on 64, I still play it sometimes, yeah. and it's, it looks just as good. Does this, does it, are these, are you protecting the ship too? Um, yeah, or, yeah. Like, that's what, because you're trying to destroy all of these things, or? Nah. Yeah, the Great Fox is, uh, the Great... <laughs> <laughs> Slippy. <laughs> Meanwhile. The Great Fox is always there. Yeah. Um, you never really get to see it, though. It's always kind of trailing yeah. behind you. Yeah, it's always like, it's there, but like, it's, you you, really, you see it in the intro and the outro cutscenes. Yeah. And this level, actually, it's really cool. What happened? I don't know. You like this? <laughs> you got really mad at me. Uh, um, the, um, what's cool about this level is you see the Great Fox, he shows up, or it shows up. Oh, yeah, that's right. It, it, it covers you a few times, which is really cool. You'll see that in a little bit. <clears throat> the other cool thing is uh, these, these, uh, little defense stations there they give you only three points if you if you hit it oh okay 
They're really not that worth it. I don't like these guys. Do you try to stay in the middle of his little screen? Yeah, is that how you dodge yeah. it? It's hard to dodge it. Nice. This level in general is really tough. Like they throw it. Like I said, they throw everything at you. Mm -hmm. um, oh, man. Watching the. If you've never played this game, there's a couple things I want to point out that are really cool about it. One is that, or just that are I feel like are important to point out, are you can see uh, the little ship in front of us with an F on it while he disappeared. But that's Falco. You have three. Uh, people like people wingmen, wingmen that are yeah. part of your the Star Fox crew. You have uh, Falco, Peppy, and Slippy. They all have their different personalities, uh, and uh, that so they kind of like they don't really even do anything for you. They don't um, really do they help? Yeah, out? yeah, they do actually. So they, do? They, they all have a little role to play. Um, okay, Slippy, right here. This is Gray Fox covering Ooh. us. See, so we'll see a yellow laser. Oh, that's cool. Gray Fox helping out. Well, it's Rob controlling the Gray Fox helping out. Love you, Rob. Um, yeah, they all they all actually are helpful. So Slippy analyzes the enemy's shields, like when you fight a boss. Oh. So if Slippy's not in your party, that's the other thing you, I don't think you mentioned. I'm, I'm not sure if you did or not. No, I didn't. Know. Your your um, crew members can get shot down. And if and they get shot down, you lose them for the next level. You lose them for the rest of the level you're on, and then the next level that you play. So you oh. would, um, yeah, you you lose them. Yeah. Uh, which, so, so if you don't have Slippy in your party, he won't be able to analyze the enemy's shield at the end. You won't be able to tell how far along you are in the boss battle. Oh, oh, that's right. So you're just kind of like hoping you're taking him out? Yeah, so it's a detriment. Okay. You know? Like you can't make like, if like you see he has like almost no health left, you can't make like a yeah. last, like you can't stay on target and just smash right. the laser. This hey, there they are. This boss is difficult. Um, oh, he just appears, right? Uh, he, yeah, he kind of goes in and out. Um, oh. There's a lot of moving parts to this boss. Anyway, so Slippy, Slippy will show the enemy's shield. Mm -hmm. Peppy, when you're a new player, is actually pretty helpful because he gives you advice. Yes. So he'll tell you how to like beat a certain enemy. Um, he'll give you the most important advice I think in gaming history, which is do a barrel roll. Exactly, the famous line. Um, this little boss, you have to. Oh gosh. You have you have to, to, um, hit his tentacles or something. Yeah. You have to destroy the ball, the energy balls, and then destroy the tentacles. There we go. We loved that line growing up. Destroy all three destroy energy balls. Destroy all three energy balls. Yeah, I still love that line. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm just as mature as I was. Same here. Um, no, so the... <laughs> um, Falco doesn't do a lot from a, um, like a standpoint of like analyzing shields or giving you advice, but he's, mm -hmm. he's a pilot though. Will destroy stuff. Yeah, he takes you to a couple secret areas, right? Yeah, he does. And you have to You're say right. you yeah. have to, especially the first level of the whole game. Yeah. Um, you to get to the, I guess the right way. Yeah, the the hard way. The hard way. You have to save him from a couple enemies that are trailing him. And if you yeah. do so, he takes you through this secret uh, path. So Falco's pretty valuable for stuff like that. But ultimately, yeah. he's kind of like he also pushes you to be the best you can be because he he's, uh, he's kind of a jerk. He is. But you need that guy. He's kind of the Han Solo to your Luke Skywalker Exactly almost. right. Except Fox is like, Fox Fox seems, as, as we've been playing this game today, we've been talking about it, Fox seems a little unaware sometimes. Yeah. And Watch I, this part. Oh yeah, it shoots that. Watch out, Fox. Wow. This looks like Samus' final smash almost. I know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, we were saying earlier, because Fox earlier... At the end of the first battle, or the first boss battle on the first level, the boss, as he's going down, says, asks, who are you guys? And Fox, instead of being like, we're the Star Fox leader, I'm Fox, this is yeah. this is who we are. Nice job, dude. That You did kill that level very fast. <laughs> He'll say, he just says, we're Star Fox. And then it kind of made me think, like, I understand why Falco is a dick the older I get. Mm -hmm. Fox is kind of like the aloof, like, hero every man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I think I'd rather see a series that followed, like, Falco being frustrated with Fox more than I'd want to follow, like, yeah, Fox. Yeah, like, like a prequel. Like, yeah. Or, like, Fal Falco trying to, like, make a name for himself. Yeah. And also, he's kind of the golden child. He's James McCloud's son. James yeah. McCloud was this war hero. Mm -hmm. So Fox it already has this air about him, like, he's the chosen one. Yeah. Um, so it's I'm sure he had special treatment all through the academy. Oh, Falco's yeah. probably like, I work, I work way harder than this guy. He's ju you know? probably just as good of a pilot. Yeah. Okay, this part, so so this level, we're heading to Venom, which is the last level. Star Wolf shows oh, up. Oh, yes. Um, and they show up with reconstructed ships. Earlier in the game, you can go against them with the regular ships, mm -hmm. but now they have upgrades. Okay. Um, also, I don't here's think a, I ever picked up on that. Here's a gaming pro tip. Ooh, pro if tip. You, this is a new segment on the, on the video pod, pro yes, tips. Yeah, pro tip. Um, 
if you pause the game right here, as I have, right as soon as you can, as soon as you're able, yeah, you can uh, while they're in the middle of their monologue as they roll in, you can actually go see them as they're coming in. So you'll look up here; they're all up here. Where are they? Oh. Oh, I missed them. They're, they're somewhere, but you can basically get a jump on them. Oh, so they're like kind of floating, like the the models are like, yeah, like yeah, loading yeah, yeah. into the thing? Yeah. That's cool. Now this part is a pain in the butt. Um, it can be really difficult. Like, it really just depends on, I wouldn't say all luck, but a lot of it's kind of really? the Which, hand you're dealt. <laughs> is that, and what do you mean by that? Is it like how um, difficult it is, or? Not really difficult, it's just like they, depending on how many guys get behind you and start trying to shoot you down. Mm -hmm. Um, your radar is your friend in this level. Yeah, I can see you can see of course you've got your like red yellow green and blue for your guys But yeah. I see the black ones are on there. Exactly. A little harder to see. But notice yeah, they keep coming behind me. Right Their there. ships on that thing look straight up like X-Wings from Star know, Wars. Right? That's amazing. I'm pretty this game had to be inspired so much by Star Wars. Oh, yeah I think anything in this genre could not be inspired by Star Wars. The only thing that's like not Star Wars that like feels the least amount of Star Wars about it to me is the fact that Andros isn't your dad. Like, <laughs> like that's the only. But everything else is. But pretty there is much a dad like, element in this game. That's right. Oh, which is coming up. Yeah. You know the bet. My favorite kind of games are games with dad elements in them. Oh yeah, I would say. Naturally. Yeah. No. If I can change a diaper in a game, like uh, like Donkey Kong, like Cranky Kong, you guys talked about Cranky. <laughs> we is, did. Is Cranky Donkey's dad? Yes. No wonder like Donkey tries so hard. He gets to impress his yeah. stalwart dad. Yeah, it's uh, it's a struggle. lot to live up to. It's all right. I'm not doing too good. Um, see, this is this is hard. Because a bunch of guys like you're trying to kill off Star Wars fleet while not only they're attacking you, but so are these random enemies. Yeah. No, yeah. there's no, there's no random enemies. It's just it's just Star Wars. Crew. Oh, but they're that good. Yeah, they are. And, and your team's not much of a help at this point. Oh yeah, um, they're all going down. Okay, we got one. Right. Nice, dude. I need Leon. That. I need that. I need that. Okay. Do they have? Oops. Oh, I was about to ask a question, <laughs> just... but I just realized the answer to it because I saw Leon. I was like, oh, he's a lizard. That's like that's like the opposite of Slippy, who's a frog, or like a similar counterpart. Know, yeah. But then I was like, oh, there's two of them are monkeys. Uh, Andros is a monkey, Pigma's a pig, and Pigma has another backstory. Yeah. Um, I'm losing everybody. Dang. Um, fun story, when I was a little kid, this is my least favorite part in the whole game, because I would get so upset with yeah. my crew. Like, they, they literally do nothing the whole time. Um, and, uh, like, I would just get so mad. I'm like, they're not helping at all. I'm yeah. doing all the work. Like, and, yeah. then, uh, <laughs> and then I just remember getting really upset, and my brother Andy's all, dude, you just gotta, like, just... Just be like, guys, what are you doing? And yeah. Like, get over it. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I remember that pep talk. That's a, You're very much LeBron James on the Cleveland Cavaliers, exactly. right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, dude. dude. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Oh, Oh, you're right there, though, yeah, man. Yeah, you got yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. You got Falco yeah. with you? Yeah, Falco's still alive, but Falco's not going to do anything. You know what's fun? This is still like a challenge. Yeah. For as good, oh, dude. Yeah, as, good as you are at this game. <laughs> as many times as I've played this. And I'm sure there's other people who yeah. like, kill ooh, it, but like, ooh. you know. Oh, okay. Where's he going? Is he right the key, the key is the break, but it's really hard to break on the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, I've I've been struggling with it the whole time. That's the, I would say that's the downside of playing with the gamepad is that like the, it's the setup's just a lot different than the N sixty four controller that you're probably used to. Yeah. I, Guys, we're gonna do this. I've been looking for. I've been kind of yeah. way to go. So all right. All right. Here we go. Now here we it go. begins. Here we go. Again, Fox making it all about him. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, no, actually, it would help if Falco came. Yeah, it's, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's no, kind of right. like going into the, like, <laughs> on, when Luke's on Dagobah. Like, yeah. I'm going to just only make Star Wars reference. I think, also, what was the time when I made a Star Wars reference before? Uh, we didn't we didn't get the reference. Uh, also, normally, as you notice, we would have Jeremy, our producer, who would be yeah. if they are engineer today. Off camera right now, our engineer is L. Eckley, the wonderful first guest of our podcast. She's, she's doing a great job. She's sitting off camera there, monitoring the recording for us, uh, and I would say uh, inspiring us to reach new. I feel like a better man. Yeah, just having her here. You know what? She makes me feel like that all the time. So thanks, yeah. L. You're welcome. Yay. This is great. You're allowed to speak. <laughs> Uh, man. Oh, this wait. is fun. I don't even need this laser upgrade. All right, so this is Andros. This is the bo the final boss fight. Um, he's a giant monkey, a giant gorilla. You know, I forgot hey. that to get to him, you kind of just coast through Oops. for a second, and then you're there. 
Yeah, it's it's. Well, it is, I mean, it builds up though. He he had some dialogue there. Um, um go does, ahead. Do you want to talk about the boss? Well, I was gonna ask, does the boss battle change based on the version that you it are does. able to reach? It does. Um, so this part's the same. Okay. Uh, on both on both routes. Um, so it's it's the same. You shoot him in the eye to like stun yeah. him. And then he covers. He like has to. Then you gotta shoot his hands. There you go. All right, let's hands. go. Um, this part's the same on both. Oh, I can remember the end. Yep. This is pretty. I mean, it's not pretty similar. It reminds me of the obviously the Andros boss battle in the first Star Fox on yeah. the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's very similar. Which was just like a little mask-looking thing. Yeah. 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 I think I think that was intentional because well, I mean, yeah. I think it's retconned, but. I think it's supposed to be like the fake Andros. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? No, I'll take, I'll take that. This is I the like real that. Andros. Yeah. All right, then he just shoots his head. He tries to eat you a few times. What's oh, really... we got him. Wow, nice, dude. What's interesting to me here is like, does they ever explain why it's just his hands and his head? <laughs> yeah. This What's kind of cool? Maybe he, he evolves. That's like what he wants to be. Maybe, yeah, like... yeah. That's like his ultimate. This is, but this is his true form, apparently. And it's all his, range mode, His right? true form, apparently, is a brain with eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My um, best self is usually just my brain and eyeballs. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so it's all range mode. What's that white thing on the map? Those are the eyeballs coming up. Oh, yikes. Get away from me. Oh, yuck. Yep. So okay. you're trying to kill the brain but avoid the eyes? First you gotta kill the eyes. Oh, okay. I guess. Oh. Nice, dude. Where to dodge that? The, the key with all range mode, Connor, this is a tip for you. Yeah. Is, uh, turn your plane sideways like this. Oh, yeah? So yeah, you, you, you turn, turn faster. Yeah. Are there going to be opportunities for you to find more gold rings? Nope. So, uh, <laughs> that's it. I'm like done. the, you'll see for the uh, viewers at home, you'll see that there's three gold rings under his uh, under Eddie's health up there. Um, if you collect three in a level, or you complete your, you know, your matchup of three in a level, yeah, 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 it increases your health. It doubles your health, I think, or just at least increases it, it by a decent amount. It. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Um, uh, You're saying a lot of right things. Thank you very much. You're I guess really I forget. I forget how much experience I have with this game. The one strategy that I definitely like, basically all this stuff I probably learned yeah. from you anyway. But strategy that Eddie taught me back in the day was to. <laughs> it's this game. Bad, <laughs> is to if you're once you get three on a level and you double your health, you might have the opportunity to keep collecting gold rings. Collect only two more throughout the rest of the level, so that at the beginning of the next level, the first one you find, you carry, you carry those two over, so it'll increase your health. Yeah, exactly. You always want to invest for the future. Okay, now that's, a, that's just a helpful advice in general. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, your show is really helpful, isn't it? Um, the, this part's hard because uh, the brain itself, like if, if it catches you, it's gonna take off both your wings. It like eats you, right? Yeah, it oh. absorbs you like that. Yeah. Is it almost unavoidable? Um, it's a, it's unavoidable. I just messed it up. That's okay. So now I lost a wing and my and my lasers are down. So you can uh, also upgrade your lasers it. in this game. You'll see he now has like we'll have one little green guy. You gotta get, try to get separation. Can here. you can you die and then still finish the hard mode? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I see you have thirteen lives. Uh, yeah, it should be okay. But it's okay. Um, so so this brain, you have to hit the medulla oblongata thing here. Ooh. Ah, freaking away. And he goes away. It makes it very hard on you. It sucks, it kind of forces you, you to fly close to him. Yep. So you really put yourself in danger of getting so consumed. I think the key is the I mean and at least the way I do it, is you've got to fly away from him. Mm hmm And then approach. But he's yeah, fast, but he's fast man. looking at him catching up on me. And plus, I'm down a wing. Do you have boosts with this one wing? Yeah, I'm, I'm boosting. It's just you have to... Your boost meter is there on the top right. Oh, I see it. Help any, I hope everyone doesn't want spoilers in this game, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? This is one of those games oh, that's so nice. old that yeah. it's like... you. Nah, nah. you at this point, yeah. yeah, no, I'm just I'm messing with you. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Ooh, you can hear him just laughing. What? Oh yeah, it kind of did just like feel like it vacuumed you into that. It sure did. No, I have no wings. This is like this yeah. is what happened yeah. with that story I was telling We're you. We're gonna about. have to tell you. I would if you want to tell that story sure. on the other one. You should definitely do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that was so funny. Yeah, absolutely. Oh boy. <laughs> now I'm messing with my camera. This is very exciting for the viewer at home. It is. I mean, we're, we're getting there, dude. It's This is part of it. Oh, yeah. I forget, there's no way you'd ever have Slippy 
in this, so you never yeah, know how exactly. well Andros Case in point. Is. I mean, I wouldn't have him regardless. He yeah. died. <laughs> yeah, like, right. He didn't die, die. He just, like, goes away. They don't die for good. Little balls. What are those little yeah. balls? Yeah, he poops them out. Can you bomb them? Oh. I died. Yeah. Alright, we'll try this again. So, do you start at a certain point in the battle, or does it start over? All the way back here. Okay. And now I don't have my lasers. I do think I can go a route to get my lasers, though. Ooh. I think it's the left and right. I'll at least get one laser upgrade. That is what. So, wait, there are multiple? Yeah, there's different oh. routes you can go. Or, I mean, multiple laser upgrades? You get two, so now I have a twin laser. Ooh. And then if I go this way. Uh, you asked if I could bomb him? I don't know. I, I, it's hard. Even if I could. Because you have to aim. Yeah, it's and like it explodes at a certain distance. Mm. That is tough. Yeah, so, hey, it's like, ominous. and good for this game for uh, being hard at the end. Like, even yeah. at this point, it's, it's just difficult. I would even say, like, when I fought, when, like, we're playing a game like Ocarina of Time or yeah. Super Mario 64, two of the other, like, mainstays on this console, Yeah. once you know kind of the strategy, there's not a ton of challenge, especially with Bowser, but even with yeah. Ganon, it's like, as long as you have magic, yeah, like, yeah, a yeah. couple magic bottles, you are good. Yep, you're set. Love that, love that boss scene, though. Yeah, it's oh, so one of the great ones. They did such a good job with that because, like, up to that point, our knowledge of Ganon was Pig Ganon. Yeah, and uh, he was hard in Link in to the Past. I um, I told you I beat that for the first time this year. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's because it because it came out on the the Switch release, the Super Nintendo right. online. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I gotta do this. I will say, for makes society. It, it's a lot more fun. Yeah, for society, not just myself. It was. It makes it a lot easier when you have the rewind feature. So there's oh, a yeah. there's a couple points in that game where Gosh. it's just like it's, it seems unfair. Yeah. Some of the things you're doing, I can't think of any specifically, but right now, well, one for example, even one of the first few bosses is the Moldorm, the guy who's like swing rolling around the that yeah. like platform and like yeah he's hard. It, so anyway, he's annoying. Uh, but yeah, that boss battle, tonight. I don't know, I mean, I beat that boss battle rewinding a little bit. I would, like, uh -huh. discipline myself to only use it, like, occasionally, but I, you, I abused it on that yeah, one. Yeah, sure. Dude, I cannot get rid of this hand. It's been, like, yeah. I swear I've shot it, like, 17 times. I keep missing or something. You got it. There, there we, we are. are. Right in the forehead. Nice, dude. All right. All right, here we go. You've got your twin lasers, full health. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. And 12 more tries. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. You wanted this to be like 30 minutes, it's gonna be like four hours. Hey, we're good. I gotta beat it. His true form is. <laughs> He's so cocky about it. I know. Uh, let me. I mean, I guess the... if I first saw that brain and eyes, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna destroy him, but. I like to picture like Fox is like, oh man, this is gonna be a terrifying monster, and it's like his brain and eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So if you get to the edge of the map here, you do this. Like, it automatically does this Oh, it just throws you around, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Kind of like all the all range mode levels. Yeah, exactly. It's the same concept. Man. I'm having trouble with the eyes, even. It's that, man, that... What makes them the most difficult is that little... Electric, like, line of electricity that yeah, keeps them there. That's what I feel like gets you. It's not running into them. Yeah. Oh, they're separated too. Yeah, they are. Let's go right here. Whatever you want. Nice job, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks. I mean, I think because what I'm realizing right now is like because this game is so challenging at the end, it feel it's like still exciting to watch yeah. happen. Yeah. Intense. Oh, okay. Where are you, Brain? Oh, he, where is he? <laughs> He's right behind you. Yeah. Get away from me. I know. It's hard. It's fast. The one fast brain. Yeah. Oh, where is it? Oh, oh, nice. And the hard part is getting behind him. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that at all. Oh, it sucks. I lost the wing. Guys, I'm so sorry. Hey, we, a, a part of the, oh, the, gosh. the eight people watching this video, we, for, <laughs> we forgive you. I'm glad there's some grace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, we're getting a boo over there. Dude, Whoa. What, what is that? that? I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what that is. That's that actually wasn't the end of the world. It was actually. It made me look really cool. I meant to do that. Nice. It's like Anakin oh, Skywalker 
booting up that tech, the Naboo Starfighter, for the first time. We're just gonna keep referencing Star Wars. It's on autopilot. Yeah. <laughs> he like blows him up. Yeah. That was a huge movie in our lives because that, that movie came out when we were nine. Yeah, that was a big. T- I'm. I mean, and as a kid, Phantom Menace, like I was like, this is it was, great. It was catered to us, yeah. so it's like you know. Even we thought Jar Jar was hilarious. Like, oh yeah, not afraid to admit it. No, and even Attack of the Clones. I remember I obsessed over that movie. I would watch the special features on how they. I would watch the special features on how they did all the special effects in that movie over and over again. Yeah, I think because of that, I wanted to. Do you remember that? Remember that blue? We spent all of our childhood together, so much time over each other's houses. Do you remember that like blue hand like? camera that I had that was just yeah. like uh, I don't know what we like ended up barely using that I think uh, oh. one more try you were and, right and, there and I have an idea Ooh. I am here for this <laughs> what was that about did you see that <laughs> just like what happened I missed it it was weird it, like you'll see it on the video it, like Played that scene way too long. Like, oh, really? Bo- the brain was just. Oh. <laughs> All right, Connor, we're gonna do this. Let's do it right here. I think I went the wrong. No, I went the wrong. Okay. Nice job, dude. Um. Anyway, Star Wars Episode Two. Attack of the Clones. Do you baby. do you feel like the prequels get a bad rap? They definitely do. Do you think that's fair? I think you know they're. I I haven't rewatched them in a while, but yeah. I have seen them a million times. There's. They get too bad of a rap because I, I think I mean I understand there are some some really like awful terrible not like just terrible things about those movies but there's <laughs> yeah. also like a lot of really great things yeah. and I stuff mean, I love it's Star Wars it's like just have fun with it yeah like, it it took the like the lightsaber battles were incredible oh, yeah. I mean you face. can't yeah the music was still amazing some of the performances were so great like Ewan McGregor as Obi Wan is yeah. incredible. Qui Gon, like Liam Neeson is Qui Gon Jinn. Uh, yeah, man, those are. And there are moments, especially in Revenge of the Sith, yeah, Revenge of Sith where I'm like, really you know, good. sometimes it gets a bad rap, but I'm like, Hayden Christensen did a decent job in that movie. I, yeah, he gets the worst rap. It's yeah. not, I don't think it's okay. Like, because he was supposed to be unlikable, really. Yeah. The worst I feel uh, is for, like, I mean, obviously, I'm not alone here, but, like, Jake Lloyd, man. Yeah. Like, poor okay. little kid. Yeah, that is just like, just, that is the dark side of the internet when people, yeah. I was kind of thinking about that this morning, I was just like, I mean, even just make making a show like this and like, you know, it's fun to talk about like media and like video games yeah. and stuff, but like, and but it's, the stakes are so much lower for us. Yeah, like, we, like, it's easy to criticize, it's easy to make fun of and be like, like this actor, they, of course, we all know this actor sucks, not even talking about him specifically, just, I was thinking of another example, but it's like, I don't know. It's really, it can be really sad sometimes. Uh, yeah. Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, if he tries to eat you, you throw a bomb in his mouth, it blows up in his That was head. cool. Um, okay, I'm, we're getting to where my yeah. idea is. Let's wait till, wait till the, the famous line. Yeah. Man, good thing we um, started at this point, not yeah. like at the beginning. Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of, I'm glad we did that on this, because yeah. a lot of the time, depending on what we're playing, we're not playing from like a save state. We are right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I had that. We had that restore <laughs> point over. Oh, <laughs> why didn't we do that earlier? I know, right? Here we are. Good. We want to see. We want to see you finish this boss. <laughs> Me too. Oops. No, no regrets. I, I, I Here don't. We are. I don't feel guilty at all for this. No, you've beaten this game a million times. Yeah. And how often, when I do this, we never get to see a final boss in these videos. Right. It's the first, right? Yeah. You guys didn't fight Carol. No, not I, that, I, yeah. I, I, I watched your guys play. We got, one. in fact, on our, like, because we've been playing, we had been playing through that on the classic, but it's been a while since each of us, uh, since we played together. Well, first off, wonderful start to this battle. Yeah, keep doing it. I'm, I'm <laughs> all for this. Let's go. Um, have you? I love that K roll fight. I have never, country. I've never fought him. I'm sorry. I know. I've Absolutely. never. The most I've ever even played through that game is with L. On the classic. Wow. I think we probably barely, we like dabbled in it growing up at your place, but. Everything about that fight, the music, like the, the fake end. Oh, wait, sorry, never mind. I don't <laughs> want to spoil anything for you. That's okay. <laughs> we, 
<laughs> I've talked before on the show about how I didn't have a Super Nintendo and like and growing up. So oh, the on. majority, dude, take us back. I'm not. I'm not losing a wing. Yeah, we. The Super Nintendo. I my whole Super Nintendo experience was at Eddie's and house with his. Oh my goodness. So the hard part is the right trigger is the the pause menu. Oh. So that's why I keep I keep trying to rotate to the right and I can't. Yeah. All this little. It's I like know. you. Poop? Is it brain pooping? Does your brain poop? <laughs> I don't know. We answer the hard questions on the yeah, show. Does your do. brain poop? Yeah. Oh, nice That's job, dude. Right there. That was great. You pulled away at the last second. I know. Thanks, man. Can you save from here? What? Can you save now? <laughs> it's not a bad idea, but I'm feeling confident. Let's go. It's a, it's a, it's a smart idea. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Catch you. Catch you. Way to go! Nice! That's all we well, need to do. And now, here we, we go, Millennium be... Falcon our way out of this That's puppy. Right. Oh, wait, there's, yeah, there's one more thing I have to do. <laughs> Scream. Oh, yeah, this is where it gets all. This is, this is more like Obi Wan than yeah. anything. Don't ever give up, my son. How about that voice actor? Not bad. He's wearing sh also, he's wearing shades. It's the same character model. They <laughs> just did. put sunglasses on him. <laughs> I love that. All right, let's go. You brought this. You or Alex brought this up the other day, but mm -hmm. this is Fox McCloud. His father is James McCloud. It's like if Eddie Eddie has a son, Christopher. It's like if Eddie would have named his son Human, Human Martin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Human being Martin. <laughs> Uh, you have to follow him out of the, the thing. Yeah. And he goes either left or right, and if you don't go the right way, you die. So you gotta use your boosts and use your, like... So having a wing here is super important because you can yeah. turn faster and... Uh, do you boost any better? Um, you just you fly straight. Oof. Oh yeah, and it's hard I mean, to... Fly, flying straight's important. The camera's it's weird. Good. It feels like sometimes... Oh my goodness. That's Sorry. Hard. You're fine, buddy. <laughs> it feels like sometimes the camera, like... Tweet again. Right. Did he go left? Oh, did he? Did he go left? Oh, no, we're good. Oh. The camera kept doing that because I kept oh, you hitting did the stick. You see, I keep hitting the stick like that. Yeah. Not that I'm trying to. That is It's a handicap. Annoying. It's a handicap. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we can watch. I love that he kind of just peels off. Yeah, he just fades away. Yeah. Did you destroy the planet or that base? Is it a base on it's the planet? It's a base, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> commit genocide. Yeah, you are the Death Star. <laughs> we're the bad guys. Yeah. Star Fox Andros is trying uh -huh. to do good for the universe. Right. Plot twist. This is... Oh, well, now he's on board. Okay. I mean, you did just... <clears throat> we missed a couple lines of dialogue because Peppy and Slippy died. Uh -huh. I haven't, actually haven't... Is that what he's looking around at? Yeah. And then he's supposed to say a line right there, but he doesn't say it because Peppy asked him. So, uh, Slippy says, Fox, you're okay. Um, and then Peppy says, Fox, what's wrong? And he says, nothing's wrong because he's looking for his dad. Mm -hmm. His dad faded away. Oh. We gotta see them. Can we watch the? Can we watch the end? Yeah, we're watching it right now. Cool. I love. I've just. When they just run away at the end, it's so good. Mm -hmm. uh, my motto. Oh yeah, of course. You know, yeah. Just Mr. Nintendo. These were his. Um, these were his guys, right? Yeah. Like his creation. Pretty I, much. He... I know that the. Um, I, I was probably gonna mention this on the audio part. Yeah. The, um, um, that they were inspired by puppets, like Japanese puppets. Yeah. Was why a... these characters were kind of. Based off of yeah, I, I was I looked up a little bit about that this morning to prepare for it, mm -hmm. and it was I found something similar. It was kind of like the that Fox, Falco, and Peppy are ba especially Fox are based off of uh, characters in Japanese folklore, like folk oh, okay. tales. Uh, kind of like we have our folk tales mm -hmm. in in America, but S Slippy, which I want to mention on the main show too, is not based on something from folklore it's based off one of the employees at the company who <laughs> developed not i don't think nintendo i think it was um i forget the name i have it written down but the other company that they co-developed the first one with okay because he like would in like their chats would always say like ribbit ribbit and use the toad as his like avatar all the time and they were i think he was annoying so <laughs> which is funny that oh that's so Slippy's great so like that i love that but that's endearing to be. It is. Also, like, people... I was also reading, like, it's like, Slippy's one of the most uh, 
hated like co-characters in any in any game and i was just like i don't he's annoying but he's like yeah. cute and silly he was annoying as a kid yeah but i think he's i think he's helpful he's matured so we yeah. recognize his... there's a, there's a subplot in this game where he gets captured and you have to go save him i forgot about that yeah that's cool yeah um that's one of the things that makes this game so great it's just like the replayability of it yeah you could play the i mean there's so many paths you could take I haven't done the easy path in so long, I kind of forget what it's like. I'd say most of the time that's the path I take. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll take the hard path in the beginning, but I won't get that those boosts that you yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at these polygonal models. Oh, dude, those are just, like... It's just a background. Background. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pre-render. It looks yeah. like a 3D Movie Maker set. It does. It's like um, in... For uh, a 64 game, the voice acting is really good. It is. And we don't get a lot of that in some games. We get Mario to talk to. Yeah, that's true. Well, we'll see how far we get. We might have 30 seconds left. Oh, you just want to get this last scene, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It's time for us to go now. <laughs> Iconic scene. Oh. Uh, where are they running to, <laughs> is my question. I think they're they're running to their ships. Yeah, I would assume, but like I don't know why they had to go so far. Like right. they should have parked their ships <laughs> next to where they were. Just and also Fox is so much faster. Well, it's a video is about to cut off, but thanks for watching the video portion of the Calling by Your Game podcast for the Star Fox sixty four episode with Eddie Martin. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you on the audio part. I'm glad we beat it. <laughs>